Okay, I'm pretty sure this is where we, how we, oh, fuck, man. There we go. How we had it. It is. Okay, today we are watching Channel Awesome, Nostalgia Critics, review of Deep Freeze. Of the Batman the Anime episode Deep Freeze for his Batman playlist. BPS is out of order right now. I'm having technical difficulties holding the, keeping the phone steady. Oh, fuck. My phone's gonna break at the end of this video. Can we just all accept that? <laughs> there we go. Okay. Anyways. Now hit play and don't begin. touch it. Let's like the video. So you're fall. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. So like many of you, I love Heart of Ice. It's such a phenomenally conceptualized and executed episode. Mr. Freeze was reinvented and made into one of the most tragic and layered villains in Batman's Rogue Scout. Everything from the exceptional animation, even by this show's standards, to the writing and vocal performances made it a classic. Is this a boring way? Victor Freeze's art didn't come for over two years. You see, years. it fall without me even touching it. Freeze is not a story that I would have expected as a sequel, but man, do I love it. The main idea is a bit goofy, but still well within the bounds of the show, and it has this twisted, go. bizarre vibe that makes it unique as it firmly progresses Freeze's character. In some ways, I actually like it better than Heart of Ice for the wild risks it took and pulled Ooh, off. Gotta give credit to Paul no Dini and Bruce Tim camera. for thinking of such a strange tale. Oh well. God. I mean, I when a robot breaks a terrified anyway. Mr. Freeze out of Arkham Asylum, Batman and Robin consult their old friend Carl Rossum about the machine's design. Rossum says he once created a similar prototype for theme park mogul Grant Walker, but it's been heavily modified. Walker is revealed to be the one who kidnapped Freeze and has him transported to his new park, Oceana. The now elderly idealist has been infatuated with Victor Freeze's work for years, and even gives the doctor an exact replica of his armored suit, complete with Freeze gun. Due to the accident that transformed his body, Victor's aging process has slowed to a crawl, making him nearly immortal. And that's what Walker is after. More time to complete his work, and essentially live forever. Details are then shared about Grant's grand plan for the world. Oceana is to be the last vestige of hand-picked humanity after a giant ice cannon on top of the park freezes the rest of what's referred to as a violent and hateful world. But first, Walker needs Victor's help to recreate the freezing procedure. The doctor refuses to be involved until Grant discloses that he has Victor's wife, Nora. She's still alive and suspended animation after being thought dead in Freeze's original accident. I have the technology to restore her, my friend. All you have to do is grant my wish. Very well. Let's talk yeah, about this episode's evil Walt Disney. Disney. Grant Walker is a fascinating villain who I really wish we got more of. Apparently, he did pop up in the Batman Adventures comic series, but I mean in animation or beyond, this guy could have been a long-lasting character. Deanie and Tim took so much from Disney's public persona that it's hilarious and brilliant at the same time. The whole concept of an idealized no, future and the building of a city that embodies positive Disney. progress uh, is straight from the man That's himself. Supposedly, he does look like him though. Yeah, but I say not look at him. He does look like Walt Disney. We call it Epcot. It will never cease to be a living blueprint of the future where people actually live a life they can't find anywhere else in the world. Everything in Epcot will be dedicated to the happiness of the people who will live, work, but they won't, and play in the city where good folks can live in peace. And you, no, God, believe you, I say, my world will have no more violence That's or pain. You can add free will to that list, too. A small price That's to pay for all it's such a great idea to twist with a few what-ifs. This is like if Walt had lived for another decade or so and totally lost it. But besides the design of the character and a more sinister take on his general values, my favorite thing they did with him is incorporate the urban legend of Walt cryogenically freezing himself, specifically his head, to be resurrected when medicine advances. Tons of people have had fun with that myth over the years, but the fact that Deep Freeze is a Mr. Freeze episode where the Walt Disney stand-in wants to be frozen to live longer is genius. 
Look at me, Mr. Freeze. I'm an old man. I've created wonders in my lifetime, but there is still so much to do. The Disney parodies don't even end with Walker himself. The returning Carl Rossum brings up his former employment. I was one of Walker's original visioneers, constructing and programming the animatronic figures he used in his park attractions. Rossum's time as this world's version of an Imagineer was the perfect way to tie him into the story. But his Easter eggs don't stop with just Disney. Greetings, dynamic duo. I'm your biggest fan. It doesn't look like annoying you from the video game. No, no, no. Yes, we get a malfunctioning toy bat bike in this episode, completely his own cheery version of the animated series Batman theme. And that's not all. Mr. Mix's Bidelic, Crypto, and even Stupid the Super Cat all make cameos as a few of Rossum's toy designs. The robot that abducts Mr. Freeze even reminds me a bit of the Fleischer Superman robots from the Mechanical Monsters. The design isn't the same, but how it captures Freeze by placing him in a compartment in its chest vaguely reminded me of that. Superman short. Oh, the if Super those weren't enough outside know references, the Rossum yeah, awesome character like is of course still an ode to both voice actor no. William Sanderson's yeah. role in Blade Runner and the 1921 play Rossum's Universal Robots. Plus, Oceana you know is an obvious Aquaman's reference to George Orwell's 1984. No. This installment is just packed with little nuggets like no. that. In the production order, you know? this ended up being the last DCAU directing ben, job for ben, Kevin Altier. Behind Boyd Kirkland, yeah, he was the yeah. most prolific director How? of the original series, and his quality oh, yeah. of work Plus, speaks for itself. From the very oh, yeah, beginning, with On Mother Wings and the Cat and the Claw Batman Part 1, three. through Two-Face, Heart of Steel, many more, and the last episode produced here, Altieri's legacy is extremely important to Batman the Animated Series, well, and what will become in, the DC order, Animated well. Universe. Spoilers for Does the ending really from matter? here on out. How we Batman watch and Robin yeah, eventually kinda. infiltrate Oceana, yeah, but are captured are, you know, upon it, hearing about Walker's are, dastardly uh, plan. After Freeze aids Walker in order becoming order like him, him one frozen anyway. in flesh yeah, and age, Batman tries to convince Victor to help him stop Grant. However, Freeze only cares about saving his wife. I want to see if Nora back to life. the world that you helped destroy. You think you're alone now? Wait until she learns the truth. The good that's left inside of Mr. Freeze prevails, as he agrees to end Walker's doomsday plans. He frees the dynamic duo, encases Walker in ice, and begins the destruction of Oceana. As Walker's chosen few escape, Freeze rejects Batman's plea to leave the imploding theme park. Wanting to stay with Nora, he freezes Robin so the Dark Knight won't follow him, and longingly stares at his wife while Oceana is obliterated. Walker is then shown trapped in ice as he falls deeper into the ocean, with the debris of his depraved, idyllic society plummeting all around him. Later on, after we see that Dick Grayson is hey, warm, Alfred. safe, and sound, is Freeze Alfred. and Nora are seen floating in the Arctic. I'm happy. The man got a, a break in, a, in an episode A grieving one. Victor reaches out for his wife's hand behind the glass as the episode ends. Lost in this review so far are my thoughts on Mr. Freeze himself. He was sympathetic in Heart of Ice, but we see compassion from him here on several occasions. First, when he warns Walker against becoming what he's become. I want to live like this, abandoned, alone. A prisoner in a world you can see but never touch. <coughs> I trade a thousand of my frozen year. You're finished. Finish. There is no finish. You're having me. Do you know how many more we have after this one? Yeah, you're having me become a nerd just like you. As for your worst day. You're gonna successfully turn me into a Batman nerd, a hot fucking Batman in order nerd. To take him down. This is my dream. My vision. I cheated death to make it real, and you won't stop me. You may live forever, Grand Walker, but your mad dream dies now. Great sequence there. The reveal of Nora through her salvation at the hands of Walker also created some iconic imagery. We would see the culmination of Freeze's arc in the original BTAS and the delayed 1998 feature Batman and Mr. Freeze Sub-Zero. 
However, as most of us know, the character also went on to be incorporated into the new Batman Adventures and Batman Beyond. You know, that was a new Batman Adventures. Deep Freeze is one of those installments that feels like a mini movie with a big you know, climax uh, that has us asking more questions actually, about if and when Freeze the will only return. Character that Aside from the villain and all the other references, in the, in, I just love the, the design of Oceana and how it's all set up. It's fun to wonder show, who exactly Batman all show. those people were who were going to let the world freeze as they became a permanent part of Walker's mad scheme, too. I guess they'd be the equivalent of obsessive Disney Park mega fans being the first to experience a new attraction. Except this attraction is witnessing an apocalyptic new ice age. Or maybe they'd all be Club 33 members. Yeah, sounds about right. I'm not gonna ask questions. Now, next time you see us together, we'll be on camera reviewing about Batman Adam West. So, holy cow, Batman! I'll see you next time. Same bat time, same bat, bat channel. channel. Say it again. Holy cow, Batman! I'll see you next time. Same bat time, same bat channel. Good, I got my mom on recording saying that.